Hi everybody, my name is Aníbal Azevedo, and now we're gonna start the last class of this track. Since we're gonna start to organize the code on the from the previously class. If you didn't see the previously class, it appears a car somewhere. Remember that this is the class number eleven of the third track about how we can apply artificial intelligence in the container port logistics. So we are constructing a simulator that will be very important to uh, construct and evaluate solutions and forms to operate a container ship uh, a container ship and also some port container port operations. Uh, let's start from the beginning. So before I start, remember that in the description of this video we have uh, uh, the code. Our code that we developed in this class and previously class you can find in the description of this video it will be very helpful for you and let's see the code from previously class since we're gonna use it and uh, obviously we're gonna make some improvements on this so first this is the uh, the track one the container ship that we uh, defined and we created uh, using the virus in the track one and these are the unloading loading rules that we developed and created during the track 2. So in this track 3, we are creating a port simulator. Remember that we have a collection of functions, but it's not very good to organize things like that. So just to organize better the things and the parameters of this uh, class, we're going to use from collections, collections import named tuple and why this is important because we can use this a uh, very important thing thing param parameters of the simulation named tuple and uh, sync param and we have the parameters of the simulation the transportation matrix t container ship object and number of rules how many rules we have for each any rules for each operation loading and loading and verbose mode that will print some messages or not depending what is this value of uh, inside this variable so these are the uh, the parameters that will be used for this sim param and instead of the passing all these parameters for this function which is not very good we're gonna use here at the beginning of this we're gonna use it a more compact way to create things so here we have initial ship it's a, a real mess here container ship let's comment this not good here uh set cargo map comment this comment this also okay so this is the transportation matrix okay number of rules okay also so put all together here uh let's put in on a single line every operation so we define here the transportation matrix in this line okay uh don't uh don't bother about this N. We're gonna just remove this. Okay. So also the last parameter will be verbose mode true. The Boolean variable, okay? True or false. So uh okay, so how we can call the simulation? Simulation. We can before call the simulation, we have to say uh how the parameters of the simulation will be set. So I can set using this. Imagine that we have transportation matrix here. Container ship parameter CS ship will be CS1. This this variable, okay? CS1. The container ship parameter will be set like this. Number of rules parameters will be NR. NR, so like that, 
and verbose verbose parameter will be v by vb okay so uh after doing this we now set all these parameters to this single variable s this single variable s is a sync param which inside this s has four variables okay so uh now imagine that we are uh, four ports problem problem setting we have four ports and problem solution setting so so we're gonna propose for this four port the, to apply uh for every port the combination of rules then uh, and uh 12 okay so uh how we can use this simple run we're gonna define something like that this thing equals to css so this is an object uh which is object of sysync class so we're gonna apply a solution as this solution that will be evaluated this this uh, and how we can evaluate this solution for a simulation which parameters had been set using this s so remember we have two things here first we set the simulation parameters and then we evaluate the number of movements when we are uh when we have this solution so first set the parameters of the simulation and then evaluate uh using these parameters the solution that is proposed on this list okay so this will uh, create something like that you create uh 12 12 12 12 it will create a list with four elements repeated tw with 12 okay so finally uh then we print the number of movements i think it's enough just to see what's happening so the quick question now is how we can organize these functions in, uh, into a class css simulation ts simulation so uh let's try it by doing something like that just simple or create a class just declare class cs simulation so I, we created now the class it's okay but not uh it's not okay now because we need to define more things than this since we have a class we have to to fill some rules create a class let's see it happens here okay almost finishing we have to care about the space that we use here because the all functions now are inside the container ship CS simulation the contain a container ship simulation so after doing this okay I believe that we are almost done yeah okay so uh what's the important thing here we have to modify some things here first uh we have to when we create an object of this class we have to to call the constructor so I have to use define this constructor how the this constructor will operate and this is the way this constructor will operate so what we are saying here that this variable simple that we defined here and put all things in this variable s will appears here like simple receives we can put s here okay there is no problem 
you can put s uh, and then this is the the parameter that we are receiving and self we cannot create a new uh, field of this class simpara okay so we're gonna use this variable simpara and put this in the class because we're gonna use this in all functions and all methods inside of this class so uh, we can use this but also we can use this there is no problem it works also so uh, after doing this we can uh, just eliminate this complicated function and re remember that this function is not good because this is a function uh, very depends on this ship size it's not good okay so we can remove this it's just to to mention that we need something that uh, starts the container ship but we can use this function empty starts the the, the container ship empty okay and then what happens self thing para remember that every time i, I call simpara i can access the parameters just with using dot and then remember that simpara has this variable container ship so i can use this ship and use empty because container ship this variable is the class uh, this object uh, is from class container ship and container ship has an empty function method that uh, starts the the container ship with zeros so we can use it okay so this is very important since we are trying to uh, start the container ship with empty an empty container ship finally we have the uh, combine where is combine combine is here okay combine it's okay i have a uh, translate number to rules also okay then also so what we should modify now the evaluate gonna be very more simple since we're gonna need self and so so also uh don't don't forget to to put self in every function that we're gonna use here so translate will be self comma and all parameters combine self and the other parameters uh here just self self and simple it's okay uh yeah combine it's not good it's still not good because the uh combine it's receiving a lot of parameters but we keep this thing okay uh okay so now we need to decode what is inside a uh, solution but before perform some uh, operations in solution we need to know what are the parameters the transportation matrix will be self thing param dot t cs1 will be self thing param dot the ship any rules equals to equals to self in para any rules and finally variables variables be self same para variables okay now we finish this we got our things here okay that's good uh, let's change here any total to any move number of movements with be more intuitive uh, also we're gonna need to uh, start the ship with cs1 empty that will be very very more clear than before okay so every time we perform an evaluation or a simulation we start the ship empty but we can modify it by adding new methods to have some uh, initial uh, arrangement containers and that's it okay so this i will keep like that but i have here to explicitly call this uh translate number of rules 
uh, since this is a new uh, method of this class, I will uh, call this function by using self. So this is the method of this uh, class. Okay, here we have the same thing to the code number, integer numbers into the names of the unloading and loading functions. I can create now a new thing here. Just uh, change here, auxiliary, and, and move. Okay. We are just trying to make things more uh, plus auxiliary and auxiliary. Good. That's it. Okay, now believe that was run on the previous liquid. Okay, so now we can use the verbose mode here. We're gonna put a, a verb if verbose. It means that we need to print things. We need to see the 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 draw the ship unloading room what which unloading room we applied here and see the container ship image or container ship arrangement and print the number of movements that we made here so this kind of verbose it's very annoying but very important since we are performing we are trying to see what's happened what is happening and sometimes it's annoying, but sometimes it's very useful since we are trying to see. You can avoid this because uh, this will the, the reference of this list will be given here. And every time we change this uh, list here, we'll, it will return the modified version of the list. You don't need to put a variable here. You can put this more clear. Uh, okay. So now we're going to use... Let's remove this and put this and and move we are almost done we're just uh, preparing your code to m make this code more clear okay so let's put this loading operations we are performing loading operations here and here we are performing unloading operations that's it that's good okay so uh after doing this i can use verbose mode also here at this stage and then i should print some messages loading rule go to equals to room uh cs one print I will be very fast here and movement so we're gonna keep the number of movements every time we are performing and return the number of movements okay so just the number of movements every time I perform an evaluation of a possible solution i'm interested on the number of solutions obviously i can return more things than the number of solutions i can return the time uh, but it's not the case at this moment uh, okay so it seems that's okay but every time we code we can forget some details and make a real mess i don't know it's okay i believe that's that's it okay self draw it's okay. Loading operations, self combine, self translate. Every function that we should employ, it's here. Combine, translate, empty. So we use empty here. Okay. I, I don't know if it's this function empty ship, it's necessary. Maybe it's necessary. Just this is enough. Maybe this function is not, not necessary, okay? So let's test the code. Yeah, it's not working. Let's see what's the problem. Or the problems. Okay, it's taking some time. Let's see what's happened. So, okay, we get a lot of things here. As you can see here. Okay, so we first start maybe 
more uh, details about the let's see if i can see more things here so uh what we get here loading rule we are applying loading rule okay then we apply unloading rule and see the number of movements every time we are performing loading and unloading rules okay so as you can see it's working okay and uh what happens here so index 3 it's out of bounds for axis with size 3 so it happened some uh, error in this function when we try to go use combine and, and this function it's not working properly because uh, okay it's saying that uh, maybe you are trying to use too much ports here because we are in the port number I don't know what's number it's it would be interesting to see in which port we have the failure uh, okay so let's see the port the port information will be very important so i forgot to put the verbose mode also to the port so it's interesting to see what is happening verbose if verbose print port see let's see what happens here it will be a, a more interesting code to see what uh, in detail what's happening because they will print every port what's happening okay what's happening in the port one what's happening in the port two what's happening in the port three and so on so it takes a little time because we are in the verbose mode if we cancel the verbose mode every time we use the verbose mode they should print uh, the matrix and this take a lot of time to draw uh, this okay so in port one we, we just use loading rule okay they loaded the container ship it took about uh, this number of movements in port two they perform unloading rules to remove uh, the, con uh, the container ship okay so uh perform an unloading rule and after perform unloading rule we get we we got this unloading rule in, on port 2 and we should move all all containers which destinations port 2 also we should load and so on so uh what's interesting here is that this error happened just in port 4 we perform an unloading rule and we should okay that's the problem we are in port 4 but uh as you can see here your matrix is just port 2 port 3 and port 4 port 2 no 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 just port 1 port 2 port 3 where is the port 4 we don't have the port 4 so we have to adjust your algorithm so it's not the error of the algorithm it just set wrongly the things here and now I believe that's gonna work because we just give the transportation mat matrix for three ports the port one the port two the port three so if you want four ports you have to give more information about transportation matrix not the case we are just testing for three ports and gonna evaluate the things for three ports okay so by doing this we just finish it 
we just ended this track and remember that in the description of this video we have all complete code i believe that it was a very very difficult and tough uh video but i believe that we finally uh, finish it on an important mark because this uh, simulation will be employed to evaluate uh, or to create solutions and evaluate the solutions which will be very important and very obviously we're gonna call uh, the simulation not in the variables mode as you can see the variables mode will be very costly in terms of computational uh, time so uh, avoid it only if you are trying to inspect some aspect or uh, uh, if that has some problem or make some analysis use the verbals mode okay so thank you for your attention i think i uh, i hope you just you find this video interesting and useful and see you on the next track in the next track we will talk about how we can explore the various combinations of solutions so how we can intelligent explore this uh, great number of, of possible solutions. In the next track, we will use all the development that we made in previously tracks, including this track. Thank you again and see you on the next track. Bye.